Well, we're out taking a walk in the neighborhood and uh, a few little issues. Somebody's awning. Yeah. It's probably busting, I don't know, 50, 60 at times. Staying pretty constant around 40 or so. And I decided to uh, take a little walk because this camera is supposed to be waterproof. And I designed a little pop filter for the uh, for the microphone. And I'm walking right into kind of a driving rain and wind. Like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to post this or not. Depends how it comes out. Assuming the camera doesn't fry. And uh, one thing I noticed about, well, eh, there's one over there. About one in every ten houses has a generator running. There's a lot of uh, small tree limbs down. Nothing real major. And I don't know, I guess it's about about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. The center of the storm is about, I'm going to guess, 75, maybe 80 miles uh, southwest of me right now. And it's still a hurricane. They have not downgraded it to a, uh, to a tropical storm as the last time I was listening. We, uh, our power out is out, of course. And uh, I'm hooked up to cable, and it's out. So I'm pretty much just listening to local radio right now and getting what updates I can. But, I mean, it is what it is, you know? In case you haven't heard, there's a hurricane. <laughs> and part of the reason I'm taking this walk is not only to test the, the equipment, but this part of my neighborhood down here is uh, is prone to flooding and you can kind of gauge how the rest of the town is doing well I can because I've been here I've been here so long blowing right in my face and that's about 60 65 miles an hour. actually picked up quite a bit. Now, <clears throat> as most of you probably know, we went through Katrina just seven, seven years ago, and uh, our neighborhood took a lot of damage, mostly from small tornadoes that, uh, that dropped a lot of trees on a lot of these houses. It was, uh, it was pretty bad. Yeah, I'd say at least a solid third of the homes took uh, moderate to severe damage from, from trees falling. But uh, we have flooded in the past. How y'all doing? There's some folks that are out, out watching the storm. There's not much else to do. See, I'm the only idiot just kind of walking around. Anyway. This street down here, in fact, I'll walk over and show you some of the signs are beginning. You know, and water is bubbling up from a drain. <laughs> That's a good sign that uh, things may start backing up. Now, during Tropical Storm Allison, which was a few years before Katrina, this uh, this whole neighborhood back, this whole part of the neighborhood back here was a couple feet underwater. I know it doesn't look it, but uh, we just walked downhill. We changed elevation probably five or six feet in that 400 yards. And it makes a difference if you live down here, a huge difference. But as you can see, the drains are working well. And uh, Folks down here know enough to keep those drains from filling up. 
so you'll see people out here cleaning them. I already cleaned the ones in front of my house. Now, about the worst damage I've seen so far, and I'm not going to focus on it too much, as you can see there, if I can hold the camera steady, that, uh, that tree is on the back of that house. It snapped off at the top, and it's down on that house. So there's, there's going to be some problems for those folks, no doubt about it. But uh, overall, so far, this whole neighborhood has been very, very, very fortunate because the storm did, in fact, go very well far to our west. If, uh, if it had continued on its track right up the Mississippi River, it would have been right up on top of us. And uh, people down in Plaquemines Parish, southeast of us down where the storm is, they're still getting 80 mile an hour winds. And, uh, you know, I feel, I, I can feel for them. Yeah. I know the storm isn't moving real much because uh, you can tell by the wind direction. It's still coming out of the east pretty hard, which means the, the storm, the, the center of circulation is still south of our latitude. So you know how slow that thing's moving. It came ashore, what? Uh, so I remember, I think it was like at 6 or 7 p.m. So you're talking, what, 18 hours? And uh, it's actually still south of us. So, you know. The internet's down. When I'll be able to uh, actually put this up, I have no idea, but we're very, very fortunate. But I have to admit, there's still some weird stuff. I mean, when you have a storm of this magnitude, or any hurricane really, you know, communications is a big deal. And they'll, uh, the authorities, They'll try and tell you, hey, look, you know, stay off the stay off the phone, stay off the cell phone, and all that. And try and leave it open. Try and text and all that. But I won't mention the station name. But right after they tell you, hey, stay off the phones, blah blah blah, blah you know, they take a call from a listener to find out what things are like in their area. Yeah, it's just a, hey, it's a minor hypocrisy, but still, you know. And they don't want you driving around. And that's actually a good thing. I have uh, personally seen this particular road flooded pretty much right up to that, uh, that white mailbox you can see in the center of the screen. And it, while it's not in the homes, it'll be flooded in right up to, you know, sometimes right up to the doors. And you get some moron that decides it's fun to take his car down through the foot and a half or two feet of water to watch the splashes and his bow wave will actually carry water into homes and that's that's really tough you know when you got a homeowner trying to keep the water out and they've been praying for hours as they're watching that water rise and it gets to within three or four inches of actually coming in the house you know, even if it was going to come in the house, it just is so unkosher to have some jerk-off do that, you know? But, like every place else, we have our... Uh, we, have, we have just as many as anybody else. We got a family over here. They got their generator going. That's the first one I've come across since I mentioned the one out of ten. So there aren't that many. It's really surprising. It's, a, it's probably one of the most surprising things about uh, going through one of these storms again. And this is far, far, from, far from our first. You know, this is, uh, ah, heck, I can't even count. It's in the teens, though. From the tropical depressions, tropical storms to... Uh, two hurricanes that have come within oh just say 150 miles of where I'm standing and we had to deal with it in one way shape or form 
and you kind of get used to it. I know in the uh, in some of the other videos, I may come across as a little blasé, and that's that's really not the truth. These things can be dangerous. People die. You know, trees fall on them. They make they make mistakes with generators, either electrically or uh, maybe not having adequate ventilation. And uh, you know, sometimes just surprise flooding. I know that sounds weird, but uh, you know, here in this neighborhood, we did not flood a whit uh, during Katrina, which is you know. Say that Katrina was a small storm? No, it wasn't. And uh, Katrina's western eye wall passed right over where you're watching. I mean, it, it, was, it was right on top of us. But uh, we never flooded. However, in Tropical Storm Allison, which wasn't even a hurricane, uh, if we were walking during that storm, this uh, the street would be flooded. I'd be up to my up to my ankles, over my ankles here in the in water and up to my, well past my knees, maybe my waist, back there where you saw the house with the tree on the, on the back of it. So there's a lot of times just not telling. You gotta live someplace a long time to experience enough to know what you can do and what you can't. And you know, not everybody stays in one place around here 15, 18, 20, 25 years. Doesn't happen all the time been seven years obviously since we've seen a, a decent sized storm here so you know I thought about taking the one of the cars out for a zip and uh, you know for the sake of YouTube showing the uh, the effects of the storm but I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna join the uh, the masses the flood riders it's not going to look a whole lot different than this. I'm going to uh, actually get my chainsaws out and uh, get some other equipment together because, uh, well, quite frankly, once you're uh, once you're done with the storm, then starts the cleanup, and we do try and and help each other out if at all possible. I won't get you on camera. Looks like we got a, uh, had one fall out, huh? That didn't hit anything important, did it? Is that where it landed? Came out of that tree, huh? Yep. That's the only one there. Looks like they got another one fixing it to come down. I pulled it away from the truck and kept blowing up against it. Yeah, well, that's a good place for it, I guess, right there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll drag it on out of there. and. You know, we went through all the trouble to make sure this tree wouldn't shed anything, and now it's... Uh, Where's that? Oh, as long as it's on my side, I can live with it. Yeah, but I'm just letting you know. It looks like before it was blocking pretty good. Yeah, well, I'll go ahead and take this uh, this guy out. <laughs> right. See you later, neighbor. Good, man. Take care. <laughs> no, I just dragged that big old limb out of there. Decided to go visit my neighbor. Yeah, no fun, but hey, that's maple. <laughs> so that's going to end up on the lathe or somewheres. Anyway, so that was a walk around. Like I said, it's uh, Isaac's still a category one. Hopefully it'll get downgraded in a few hours. This thing will start to lay down. And uh, hey, Redneck. Check out that PDL too. Let's see if I can get around the tree here. So you can see it. Uh-huh. I lowered the tower down. 
and uh, it's happy. PDL2 de de deals with 80 mile an hour winds plus. Woohoo! All right, I'm out.